Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and style a button on a banner image on your Squarespace website. So I do have another video tutorial that shows you how to add a button on your Squarespace website, so just anywhere throughout your site. So I'm going to link to that just up above. So if you haven't already checked that out, you can do it. But the process for adding a button onto a banner image is a little bit different, so that's why I've created a second tutorial. All right, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to be working off of the Bedford template. And you'll notice that there's a couple different ways to add a button to a banner image, depending on which Squarespace template you're using. So this particular video tutorial works totally well if you're using the template family that includes Bedford or Anya, Bryant or Hayden, but it might look a little bit different if you're using another Squarespace template. So let's get started. And you can see here that I've got my demo site created. Um, I've got, you know, just a regular page set up. I've got a header section. And right here where it says click here, that's where we're going to add the button. So to do this, you just hit on the settings. And then over in the description section, to add the button where it says click here, basically you're going to do that by adding a link. So you highlight the text, click edit link. And then in this case, I'm adding to an external site, but you can also link to existing content on your website or files or whatever. And then to turn it into a button, you just click save. And there you go. So now you've got your first button in your header image. And this is great because it's a really good, clear call to action and really nice. Now, next up, I'm going to show you how to add a second button. So to do that, it's really, really similar. You just go back to settings and you could say like, click here, you could say, or here. <laughs> and then this, the same process all over again. So highlight the text, click on the link, you know, link to whatever you want, whether it's an external site, content files, whatever, and do that. Oops. Oopsies. <laughs> and then click save again. And you can see now you've got your two buttons. So this is great because depending on, you know, how you're setting up your page, your content, you might want two buttons to act as call to actions. And this is how you do it. All right, so now you've figured out how to add a button to a header image, and at this point you might want to see how to style the image because maybe you just don't want it to be a square purple block. Maybe you want it to look branded a bit more like how you have the rest of the buttons on your site. So doing this is super simple. You're going to go over here on the left-hand side to where it says Design. Click on that, then go to Style Editor. And then once that loads for you here, you can click the button and then as you can see, the style editor switches, so you're just editing the banner section. So you've got a lot of different edits available for how you might want to style it. You know, you can switch the shape of the button, you know, the, yeah, if you want it like different styles, if you want to switch the color, like, you know, whatever you want to do, all of that is available for you. And then whenever you're ready, all you have to do is just click, click, save, click, save. The changes are reflected here. So that's it. There you go. We've got a really simple video tutorial showing you all about how to add and style a button on a banner image in Squarespace. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. You can also check out my website, which is charlotteohara.ca, and I've got tons more content there all about Squarespace and website design and development, tech tips, a whole lot more. You can also take a look through the other videos on my YouTube channel because I've got Loads more content there as well. And if you feel you know, crazy about it, you can even hit the subscribe button or like it, give it a thumbs up, share it on social media, whatever you want. So thanks again for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful. Take care and have a great day. Bye now.